Welcome back. We are now joined by Sports Information Director, Clark Tusher. Clark, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me. Well, the men's track and field team wasn't the only team that had a victory on Saturday, as the women come through at the quadrangular meet with a victory as well. Uh, yeah, I kind of ran away with it, really. Uh, you know, they had more of the distance runners available this week, uh, and a lot of them came through with uh, improved performances across the board and uh, several of the field events coming through as well. Very strong performance uh, at home. Cardinals were ranked 14th going into the meet, and Wisconsin Whitewater was ranked 10th. Think the Cardinals might be moving up in the rankings a little bit, or was the field a little dwindled? Uh, it's always tough to tell with a small field like that, um, and it, if you're able to score a lot of points uh, in certain events, it's able to help you out. Uh, I don't know what kind of impact that's going to have on the rankings, but it's uh, certainly a, a nice thing to be able to perform that well against a good team. And you mentioned it before, a lot of the distance runners you know, that made some noise in the cross-country season were back helping out the Cardinals to victory. Uh, yeah, Alicia Zimmerman in the 5,000 with the personal best time that got her into the top 10 in school history. You know, Chris Dakota continuing to run strong in the 800. Kayla Bingham right behind her. You know, the, a lot of uh, juniors and seniors uh, stepping up and performing like they should as upperclassmen. And it was a big day for all female athletes, you know, throughout the campus as uh, the, there was a Women in Sports Day celebration and Bev Thornburg was given the Cleo Tanner Award. Uh, yeah, this is the seventh annual uh, Girls and Women in Sports Day celebration on North Central's campus, which we had a, a luncheon for the student athletes on Tuesday, and we're planning to have an alumni event on Saturday prior to the basketball doubleheader. Uh, you know, Bev took over after Cleo retired uh, back in 1970 as the coach of women's tennis, which was the only women's sport at the time, mm -hmm. and she started at a, five more of them before she retired. Um, Bev hadn't been on campus for about 25 years, so it was certainly nice to see her reaction to how far the campus and the institution <laughs> have come. Well, the Cardinal Report was there to see as Bev Thornburg was awarded the Cleo Tanner Award. And we take a closer look at the ceremony in this week's Cardinal Corner. Forty years ago, the United States enacted a law that paved the way for equal opportunities for both men and women. Thanks to Title IX, female athletes at schools across the country can participate in just as many sports as men. At North Central College, Students and staff celebrated National Girls and Women in Sports Day with their seventh annual luncheon. If you live as long as I have, you can remember an era when women's athletics was an oxymoron. This world has improved in some dramatic ways, and the proof of the pudding is in this room. Students then honored Beverly Thornburg with the Cleo Tanner Award. The award is named after the North Central College's first physical education director for women and goes to an individual who made significant contributions to female athletics at the school. Thornburg first came to the institution in 1970 when there was only tennis available for women. You remember Martin Luther King in 1963? He said, I have a dream, racial equality. And in 1970, when Bev came to North Central, I said, I have a dream. This isn't right. One sport, give me a break. So soon after, Thornburg started girls volleyball, basketball, and began coaching softball. At the luncheon, athletes said they were inspired by the pioneer's speech. All your effort and your time put into this and everything you've done to make North Central a better place for women and a better place in general for athletics. I think Bev just was an amazing um, asset to the college. Like She did the things that I think we're all striving to do now and she's a great role model for us. Today, North Central College staff, students and alumni cheer on more than 215 female athletes on 11 different teams. So Clark, as you said, the women's you know, athletic program has really grown and blossomed since Bev Thornburg has left. Uh, yeah, and I think even she was surprised to see you know, how many people were at the ceremony and how many women have an opportunity to participate in athletics now. You know, and we're still you know, fairly recently into the process of, of adding new sports, and that's something we evaluate from time to time. So definitely a, a good thing you know, for somebody who was at the beginning, the forefront of it, to see it you know, come full circle uh, like it did. And moving on to men's sports, the men's basketball team stays atop the CCIW rankings with a big win over Elmhurst. Uh, yeah, it was a really close game down the stretch, and you know, Derek Raritan got to a position where he had a favorable matchup on defense and decided to, to go for it and put the game away by himself. He scored 11 straight points uh, in the last five minutes of the game and uh, really you know, 
a lot of the scoring has been done by a committee on that team this year. There really haven't been that many occasions where they needed one guy to step up and carry the load. But if you're going to do that, you might as well go with one of your team captains. And uh, Derek took that responsibility and really ran with it Tuesday night. And a big matchup this weekend as well against the 15th ranked Augustana Vikings. Yeah, you know, that was a really big game last year when they played at your home and North Central was able to win by four and, and secure a, a share of the conference championship. A lot of the same things are on the line this time around. It's the beginning of a, a very difficult three-game stretch for the yeah. Cardinals. They've got the uh, game at Illinois Wesleyan next Tuesday, followed by a home game against Wheaton on the 11th. So uh, certainly a, a, a situation where they've got a chance to sew up, you know, a first-place seed in the conference tournament and the regular season championship. So the conference picture could be, a, you know, a lot different after these next few games. It could be, you know, all the all the top teams are going to be playing each other down the stretch. Uh, there's five games left. You know, anything can happen. And the men's wrestling team, they were at Wheaton this past weekend at the P. Wilson Invitational, and Andrew Zoback comes out with the individual championship. Yeah, right now that stands as the cornerstone performance of his career. You know, he uh, won by at least a major decision or technical fall in every single match, including the championship. Really, there wasn't anybody there that could challenge him. Uh, you know, Nathan Fitzenreiter at 125 uh, had a similar run going, and he uh, sustained an injury in the semifinals and wasn't able to wrestle the finals. But uh, you know, he was kind of disappointed about that. It was going, he was going for his third straight championship mm -hmm. in that meet. Um, but you know, as his coach explained to him, you know, do you want to win the Pete Wilson Invitational Championship or do you want to win the national championship? So discretion took the better part of valor there. And uh, you know, Nathan was he sat out that meet. I'm sure he was disappointed, but uh, definitely wanted to get healthy. Uh, for the rest of the season. But moving forward, that shouldn't be an injury that's going to bother him, you know, into regionals and nationals? I think if it was the national championship, he would have wrestled. Um, but given how much of the season is left, I think they chose to, to back off and, and let him get healthy. Well, we look forward to seeing those wrestlers perform well at regionals and nationals. Clark, thanks so much for coming on. Thank you. That's all the time we have for this week's Cardinal Report. Next week, we have the men's basketball team stopping in to talk about trying to stay atop the CCIW standings. I'm Mark Dahlquist. See you right back here next week on the Cardinal Report.